Hello and welcome back to Black Side Guy. Today we are going to discuss a very important subject, pot numbers. So pot numbers, what what are they? So pot numbers, you can consider them as the windows and the door uh, that you are having at your house. So in order for someone to come into your house, they have to come to the door. So it is the same for every single device on the internet, whether it is your tablet, your iPhone, your Android, your computers. So they use like a card of port number to communicate to each other. They use IP addresses, which is the address that identify every single device and then the port number to communicate. For example, if I'm going to google.com, I'm using port HTTP port 80 to just you know go to the Google server. So now today uh, we are going to learn about port number and if we just type port numbers, hit enter and if, if we go to Wikipedia, we can just you know see what port numbers are. So you can just read through all this because they are plain English. There's nothing complicated here. But what you have to keep in mind when it comes to port numbers, some of them, they are like no longer supported. For example, port 23, which is for Telnet, it is not encrypted, meaning that if someone, if you're using like sending data on port 23, people can actually read your data and plain text. If you want to see uh, a demonstration, you can uh, check out our videos about Wireshark, where we had a demonstration about that. So uh, some port numbers, some of them, they are called like uh, well-known port numbers. Like for example, when you, if you wanna send like, you know, uh, your email, like it goes to port 25, and then if you are sending like encrypted data, it's port 443. So we can actually uh, go there and just look at it. Etc. So now let's just go ahead and just uh, go to our Kali machine to see, you know, why port numbers are important, why they should be closed if they are not in use. So now we can just have that. This is my server, the Medax variable server. As you can see here, I'm accessing with that IP address 10.0.2.4. So what I'm going to do here, I can just close this and then drag this here. I'm going to go right here into my application and search for Nmap. Now, if you if this is the first time that you're watching our videos, you can go back to our channel to see previous videos on how to just download and install Kali Linux how to install Medax Volleyball, and we, we even have a troubleshooting video uh, because some sometimes you, we know that you may have issues. So now, let me see, you know, uh, I'm going to try to end map into that uh, that server, Medax Volleyball server, to see uh, if there's open ports. So this is what an attacker you often do sometimes, you know, to just, you know, trying to see if you have any open port, you know, so they can try to launch an attack. Almost, you know, like uh, if you are, if you leave your door open at night, uh, somebody can just come in front of your house to like to check to see, you know, if they can just get into your house. So it, it is the same idea. So if we hit enter, we're gonna try to scan it, and from here, as you can see, we see a bunch of ports that are open. Uh, from this uh, survey, including uh, TCP port 23. So this created an issue right here because port 23 is no longer supported. Uh, so this can be a big issue. What we are going to do right now, we are going to try to close it, to close that port. So to just kind of secure our server. To do that, we can just go back to our Medax portable server and then uh, what we are going to do, we are going to just try to close it using uh, the IP tables command. So I'm going to try to just, as I'm typing the command, I'm going to try to explain you why I'm typing it. We're gonna type sudo and Linux. 
anytime you wanna like do something that that is related to administrate ad, admin or like privilege access, you need to type sudo. And then we're gonna type IP tables. So IP tables is for, uh, this command is like to manage the firewall rules. And then that dash A, which is add input. So uh, with dash A input, this is, you know, like uh, that rule is to be added, like to add the input, uh, to make the input into the chain, something like that. And then we are going to just type dash P TCP. Now, now, you know, this specify the rule should apply to a TCP traffic. Now, when it comes to protocol, we have like, you know, TCP and UDP. Right now, you know, Google come with something called Quick. But, you know, this is something that we can discuss later on. And then uh, we have, we can type dash dash deport. Uh, dash dash deport 23. This is when we just specify the rule should apply to port 23 because port 23 is the one that we see here that is vulnerable because according to the Wikipedia that we read, it is no longer supported and it is it is not encrypted. Uh, so what we can do, the last comment gonna be dash J dash J job. Okay, dash J job, you know, this just specify, you know, like, you know, this particular uh, traffic should be job or block. And then you can hit enter. Now, because I'm going to do something that required, like, you know, privilege, they asked me for my password. And I'm going to type my password. M -S -F -admin. And then they will surely apply. Right now, if I just, you know, go back, I, I write that comment like an end map. That same comment that I wrote from right here. Let's say again, it was end map. That V. Let me drag this here so we can, we can see what's going on. Okay, end map. That dash V. Dash small s big v 10.0.2.4 gonna see if you see as you can see here for 23 is no longer in the list we have 21 uh 53 and for 23 is now closed now there's something very important that you have to understand is that uh you cannot close like all the ports for example if i close port 80 i will not be able to reach that server from a web browser because port 80 is the door that is open for me to access that server so when you're closing ports make sure that you close the one that are like useless all right so please comment into the section if i miss anything let me know or if you still have any questions or concerns always make sure that you like subscribe and share Thank you so much.